Assalamualaikum and a very good day to my beloved lecturer Dr. Muhammad Aizik bin Salamat and to our YouTube viewer. Today we are here to introduce and demonstrate our project title which is Mama Mia Passport Ordering System in Commerce. Let's watch. Before we demonstrate our system, uh, we would like to introduce ourselves. Me, myself is Anis Nadia Binti Rahmat as system designer. My name is Nur Aini Binti Muhammad Yazid as a project leader. Myself, Lushin Nair Sassiran as a database engineer. My name is Nur Afizah Binti Samiran. I am a system developer. I am Jaipre Rajendran as requirement analyst. I am Nurizati Hadaga Binti Muhammad Zabri. I am system tester. Uh, so now uh, I'm going to uh, demonstrate on customer's part. So for the first, uh, this is the home page of our system. And for the customer that do, do not have any account in the system, so the customer uh, have to uh, register so click my account choose register so this is the page that uh, uh, page for register account the customer should fill up the form uh, for the personal details so the personal details uh, consists of first name uh, last name, email, and the number of phone. Then the other part uh, is a password. So the customer have to insert uh, the password. Next is uh, the customer uh, have to tick the box uh, that say I have read and agree to the terms and conditions. So click on continue button. So new page will appear that show a message your account has been created. Okay, so for the customer that uh, have already registered into the system, the customer uh, can uh, log in to the system. So this is the login page. So the customer uh, have to insert uh, email address that has been registered and the password. So click on button login. So this is the page that will appear uh, after the login process is successful. Now let me in demonstrate the my account module. Okay, under my account there are many sub modules. One of it is edit your account information. Here, the customer can insert their personal details. Then change your password. Customer can change their password here and then they can add their address. Example, the address is already added here. And then modify your wish list. This is example of wish list that the customer added. And Next will be the order history. Okay, these are the order history, the, the orders that the customer made. And next will be the account downloads. The account downloads here is empty, but once the orders are done, there will be downloads here. And then recurring payments. Okay, recurring payments is uh, for those customers who wants to save their payment receipt. Next will be reward points. Okay, reward points. Once the order is done, the customer will gain their reward. Next will be the returns. Any orders that are cancelled will be returned. Transaction. 
once the transaction is done the transaction details will be appeared here and the last one will be newsletter so the customer can subscribe to know the updates of our fast food ordering system next uh, we move to menu catalog and search module so uh, as you can see at the home page um, the menu catalog is uh, inserted in different selection uh, such as pizza pasta chicken party box desserts and drinks so in here pizza we have drop down this uh, which consists of classics pizza favorites pizza and first class pizza so now I will click the show all pizza so um, it will go to refine search so then I will go to classic then um, we have chicken perfection classic chicken classified chicken and so on so uh, all of this if we click one uh, it shows the product code classic pizza and the availability uh, let's say if the product is not installed it it will appear as out of stock okay and then um, we click back at pizza so next we go to favorite pizza okay um, the image of the pizza also inserted uh, in this menu catalog so the viewers or specifically for the customers uh, they can know uh, what what they want to order the type of pizza that they want to order and then we go to pasta okay and then we go to party box we have cheesy 4 and fabulous 4 it consists of four different uh, snacks combining in one box okay and then we have desserts okay and then for drinks uh, we have seven up mineral water ice, ice lemon tea mountain dew pepsi orange juice we enter the keyword at the at the text field so such as like um classified chicken so uh, we just click the search so it will appear on your screen i'm going to demonstrate the comparison and review part of our system first of all we see how to add the food items to the comparison list first of all we have to choose our favorite food items like uh, let me choose chicken lasagna and click to click to this button so it will add to the comparison list other than that we also can choose uh, other food items like chicken wings and click to this button so that it will add to the comparison list now we can see our comparison products at this area click to this product comparison and we can see the food items that we choose like chicken lasagna aloha chicken and chicken wings from there we can see there is a comparison among the prices the model availability of the product here we can see the chicken lasagna is out of stock and the aloha chicken and the chicken wings in stock so we can see the availability from this comparison also there's a summary about the food uh, at this comparison page okay we also can remove the product items by clicking the remove uh, button so we can see the item has been deleted also if we wish to continue we can add uh, the product to the add to the cart okay next let me see how to make a review on a food item for that you have to choose a, any kind any food that you like to make a review like chicken perfection you can click on the picture there's a there's a 
there is a column uh, the shows review you can click on the review and there's a column where you can write on your comments for example you can write the comment over here and also choose the rating then click continue after that uh, there will be a message that shows that your comment has been successfully submitted now uh, I would like to explain about the payment module so uh, in our payment payment module we have a sub module which is uh, shopping cart and payment so uh, for uh, firstly we should uh, select the item that we want to uh, buy so uh, now I will select a few item uh, firstly which is um, aloha chicken so we add uh, the item into cart and uh, next I will like to choose uh, a dessert okay so I will uh, add a chocolate lava cake into cart and last uh, I will select the drinks so for the drinks I will uh, add Pepsi okay next uh, we will look into my shopping cart okay so here is the uh, shopping cart page uh, this is the three item that I have selected then uh, I have a, a coupon so a coupon code so I can use the coupon code which is uh, 2020 so we apply the coupon code so uh, here is the uh, subtotal that I want to buy which is um, the subtotal is 44 44 ringgit and 40 cent so the coupon it will uh, deducts 8 ringgit 88 cent so uh, here you have the sales and service tax service charge and total so when uh, if I want to continue shopping I will just click to the continue shopping button if I want to pay I will click the checkout button so this is uh, the checkout page okay so for uh, checkout uh, this is here the billing detail for the billing detail uh, if I don't have uh, any address so I, uh, I can add uh, the uh, new address into uh, the billing detail okay so for to add the new address uh, I must insert the first name last name company address one uh, city postcode country and region and click the continue button to add the new address okay uh, because I have the I already have the address so I will just use the existing address I click to continue button then we go to the payment method okay so for the payment method I will uh, use bank transfer and uh, here we can add uh, some comments about uh, the order okay uh, next we must uh, next is the privacy policy so this is the privacy privacy policy to uh, make the payment okay so i click continue button and we go to the confirm order step 4 confirm order okay so for the confirm order uh, it will display the product name model quantity unit price and the total amount that uh, I must pay so when we confirm the order okay so uh, it will uh, appear the order has uh, it will display the message your order has been placed so that's all from us please like and subscribe this video to our final project for software project management course thank you bye